Hello everyone, SP Architects here. Today I'm gonna show you 10 tips I wish I knew when I start to architect. Actually, these are very simple and very basic tips, but if you were know these tips, you will speed up your projects, and maybe more, they will rescue your life. But before we get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, is going to add this channel to growing up and I suggest you to subscribe. Of course, if you want to see similar tutorials like this. Anyway, let's get into the tutorial. Alright, here we are in ArchiCAD and our first tip is, for instance, we are working in the floor plan and want to modify one of the windows, for instance this one. I'm going to change this location, maybe 25 centimeters to this way but I don't want to do this in this view I want to do that in the 3d window I select this window but well actually it was changed but again before we change the position I'm gonna select this one but in the 3d window I'm not sure which window is that. So which window I'm going to change is actually difficult if you are not familiar with your project and this is a very basic floor plan. It's only one floor but let's assume you have a very big project and you have lots of stories and in the lots of stories you cannot actually it's very hard, hard to find that windows in the 3D and linked window in the 3D. Our first tip is show in 3D. Actually, this is the new feature which in the ArcCAD 25, in the previous versions, we could click our window and if we just hit the F5, well, we are going to see the window, but we cannot see the others. Maybe in order to achieve that, you could set up your camera and again, nothing was selected. You could hit the F5 and you will see the windows because your camera is looking to that. And then you can select it and move. But we have a very shortcut for doing that, which is for instance this one, we click the window or any other objects, we right click and select in 3D and with that it's automatically selected in the 3D. Crazy huh? And also we could make reverse. For instance I'm gonna select this chair in the floor plan, we just right click and we have select on floor plan. By the way, it can be very quick if you assign any shortcut with that. For instance, I have Ctrl plus F3, which is show in the 3D and Ctrl plus F2 show in the floor plan. All right, our second tip is hide in 3D. For instance, we have a project something like this and we are going to modify those objects or other things. But as you can see, it's very hard to move around because as you can see some walls gets into the camera position and I cannot see the very well the bedroom scene. For instance I cannot move easily. In situations like this the solution is you can select the wall, you can right click and we have new option here, high selection. Once more, this one. Now they are hidden and from now on we can easily continue our working. If you want to go back to the previous view, you can just right click and click show all. Our third tip is layer intersection properties. When we are modeling in ArcCAD, 
we can make crazy things. For instance, we can do this, this readings, but we don't have to use reading tool. In this situation, I have used a wall profile for those. And with that profile, I have done the readings in front of the windows. As you can see in this 3D window, we have the intersection problem with the, this wall and this wall. As you can see in the 3D window, it acts like finishing with this. It's inside the wall actually. And it could mess up your project visualization or in some stations it could be visible in the elevations or sections. In order to solve this problem, well, by the way, if we go back to the floor plan, I click and select on floor plan, we will see the intersection points. Actually, it's the correct position. You can make something like this. And now it was fixed. But also, you could do something more smart which is you can change the your layer tag or layer order you can say that if we select this rating if we go to the layer you can see the layer properties by the way this was assigned to exterior walls we are going to locate the exterior walls we have a number here which is number one all of them number one what does that mean we let the architect make its intersections only between in these numbers. Let me open up the station. I'm going to create a wall and create another wall. I'm going to intersect them and done. But if I assign this to this layer, exterior walls, for instance, I don't know the name and change the layer number to 2 this time they won't be intersected that means they won't see each other they are invisible acts like invisible together as you can see we gain some control abilities if we go back to the previous position and make it Number one, it can act in a way we don't want to do. We are in the fourth tip. They say that we are going to enlarge the interior entrance our building. In order to achieve that, you will select the parts, those parts, and you can move them. And after that, you can offset your slab edges. With that, you can make your entrance bigger. But in order to achieve that, we can stretch it. In order to achieve stretching operation in ArchKit, we are going to use Marquee Tool. If we click Marquee Tool and create a rectangle where we want to stretch our building. For instance, I'm going to make a stretch something like this and if we hit ctrl plus h i'm going to input here 50 and there we go we have stretched the building also after doing that you do not forget to fix the remaining parts we are in the fifth when we are modeling in our kit for instance we want to create a rectangle box for any kind of object we can go to the morph tool and create a rectangle and use push pull and make our model we have done this and decided to change its thickness how we are going to do that actually it's very hard to decide the thickness or any dimensions in the file using the morph objects we can only give dimensions extra but i cannot change the total distance Okay, you just give up the dimensions. I'm going to create a cylinder on this side of the morph. In order to achieve that, we can click the face, 
click the pencil and for the pencil we have not too much options we can make a rectangle shape and we can extrude this and yeah we have circle but yeah you know it's hard to control this it's not procedural my tip is for you in these situations you can use basic tool for instance you can make the simple structure and for this type you can easily assign the thickness after deciding the thickness you can change to any number you want and we want to make a cylinder on that you can use beams or columns any kind of objects you want let's click it here place and after placing that you can convert selection to morph and rotate and place it and also we can convert this one to the morph again and with that you can continue your morph operations we can join them make union and change their surface type let's click apply change this custom and there we go you will be speed up when you start with basic arcade tools and after that when you roughly model your shape you can turn them into morph all right moving on our sixth tip is section workaround if we have limited times for our projects we can make some workarounds for instance let's go to any story and create a section let's go to document and click section and i don't know maybe we can create something like this right click and open with current view settings well let's presume that we have assigned and worked all of the parts with the, these floorings and other other things in the section but we couldn't set up anything in the this ground floor with the side thickness and their intersections joints and details in these situations we can use the fill tool in the documents let's click the fill tool and let's select a fill type for instance i can select this dot dashed and change the contour pen to a bold line maybe this one seven and for our building is going to be start from here and maybe end from here let's offset the edge and give it some thickness maybe 60 centimeters and we are going to set back fill to this window and now we have cleaner view also in addition to that we can create another earth material with the earth type we can go with seven and this time i'm gonna select polygonal and create something like this for our side section there we go this was the sixth seventh one corner windows let's create some corner windows let's go to wall tool and create a corner with that go to window and make two additional windows go to their settings under the settings we have this custom corner turn them into corner make 90 degrees take a symmetry and align them in the 3d corner and we will see something like this but in order to achieve this let's just duplicate this 
and delete the windows. Under the more options, we have corner window tool. If we click the, this tool and go to the corner and place it here and it will do its, its job automatically. It's much faster, I think. By the way, if you don't want to see the, the frame over here, we have that options too. Let's get rid of those and go to corner window again. This time we are going to open up this menu, select this fixed glass corner windows and with that we can achieve a nice connection between glass and corners. We are in the number 8. Let's create a kitchen and place an oven inside it. Let's go to object tool and place cooked up oven build 25. We have set up everything but except the knob. Yes, if we go to inside, we have knob options but we have only 8 style. And also all of them are horizontally. You can even change the panel of the oven door with simple door. With that, you will see the knob option better but this is not you want. We have an option here, custom knob model. We can model our custom knob. For instance, we have something like this. And I want this to be assigned onto this cabin. So in order to achieve that, we can just go to the file menu and go to libraries objects, save selection as, and we have knob options here. Let's click that and it asks us which the reference plane are going to be used. We are going to use this one horizontal plane. Continue and save, save. And now we can assign our new knob under the knob options. Go to custom and it was already assigned as number one from the all parameters knob. And after setting up our custom parameters, we will have our custom knob. Of course, if it is what we want. Our ninth tip is lasso selection. As for the basic selection, we have rectangle. We create a rectangle marquee and hit F5. We will see something like this. But if you want to make interesting things, you can select the polygonal option or another rotate rectangular options. You can use your marquee within interesting shapes. For instance, I will go from here to inside of the stair and turn to right and maybe I don't want to cut the bed and go through inside the window and complete the shape. We have something like this and let's hit the F5. There we go. We have very interesting section in the 3D window. For the last tip, I'm going to show you floor marquee option, which is if we go to the marquee options here and by default, we have this single floor and also we have another options for all floors. If we select this one and make a rectangular selection and hit F5, we are going to see all of the model inside the marquee rectangle. But if we go back to the floor plan and change the marquee to this single floor, you will see the dashed lines turn into thin lines and also dashed again. And if we hit F5 again, you will see the elements only in the ground floor or which floor you use marquee selection. With this selection options, you can show different layers of your project. For instance, let's go to the first story and this time hit F5 again. In the 3D window, only first story elements are visible. Alright guys, these are 10 tips I wish I knew when I started to architect. I hope you have enjoyed the tutorial 
and learn something new if so please hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe if you want to see more tutorial edition objects libraries and archicad files you can just go to my patreon page and support the channel you can find all of them in there thank you for watching have a nice day